Hello, sports fans and baseball fans out there. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, we're going to talk about the horrible start of the Chicago White Sox season in Major League Baseball. Now, then, it's really arguable that the White Sox belong in Major League Baseball. But they are. The team is there. They're in the AL Central. At the bottom of the AL Central, uh, as of this recording, the White Sox are 3-15 and on the year. We just had a doubleheader against Kansas City, and we split it. Now, the first game, I watched until about the sixth inning, and the White Sox had a 2-1 lead. But... I had to stop watching. I had some stuff I had to do, and I stopped watching, and I said, you know what? They're going to lose this game, and they did. They lost the first game of the uh, doubleheader by the score of 4-2, to Uh, but they did win the second game, and I think they won the second game like 2-1 to or something like that, so that that was kind of strange, but they did. They won the second game. So that puts them at 3-15 and 15 on the year. Now, the discussion at hand is, is this the worst team in the history of baseball? Will it be the worst team in the history of baseball? And I don't want to hear from the Marlins fans, okay? The Marlins, oh, what about us? We're bad. No, no, no. You are not on the level of the White Sox. They, The Marlins have some good players. They've got a rise. They've got... Um, you know they've got well they you know they got Berger and Anderson Tim, Tyler or um, Tim Anderson from us. Um, they've got a couple of good starting pitchers. No, the Marlins are not in the White Sox pathetic class. Okay, so don't I don't want to hear from the Marlins fans, and that's the next worst team, but they have I think four wins. That's one more win, but they have players that you can point to that have a track record that you can say, oh yeah, you know, sooner or later they're going to come around. But if you look at the White Sox players, that ain't going to happen. You look at those players, they don't have that track record. You know, I mean, uh, Paul DeYoung, the guy cannot hit. He hasn't been able to hit for years. Nicky Lopez has never been able to hit. Go back to his Kansas City days, go back to any time you want to look at. In the major leagues, he can't hit. Um, you know, I don't know. And then they've got a bunch of rookies, some, you know, guys that they called up or that they've gotten for the, you know, this year. So we don't know about them. The pitching staff is, it's been a mess. Um, the starting pitching, there's been some bright spots with the starting pitching, especially with, uh, some of the guys they've called up recently, uh, Nastriani, I think, and, uh, Jonathan Cannon. They look pretty good in their first starts, so uh, hopefully they'll stay up and they'll pitch. But um, and I'm not even going to get into the managing because the managing, the managing of the pitching staff, and I mean that's part of the problem. But it's you know you got to have the players to begin with anyway, and they don't really have the players, so that's a problem now. I'm going to go down some statistics that the White Sox have and where they rank in Major League Baseball. Now, before I do that, it is instructive to know that there are 30 teams in Major League Baseball. Okay? So, um, they have 119 plate appearances with runners in scoring position. That's 30th in the Major Leagues. They score 2.1 runs per game. On average, that's 30th. They have a 196 team batting average. That's 30th. No, that's 29th. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I've just given them bad credit there. That's 29th. Uh, they have a 568 OPS. That is 30th. They have eight home runs. Eight team home runs. There's no single guy that has eight home runs. They have eight as a team. That is 30th. 
they have allowed 5.4 runs per game. That is 27th. They have a 4.78 ERA. That's 25th. So now we're moving up in the world. And they have a fielding percentage of 9.79. That is tied for 25th. And that's ironic because um, Chris Getz, the general manager of the White Sox, went out and got Nicky Lopez and DeYoung specifically to shore up the defense, to make the defense better. Now, I don't know how bad we were last year or where we ranked last year, but to be tied for 25th is probably not good. So I, I pose the question, I've given you everything that you should need to know to make an informed decision on whether you think the White Sox could be the worst team in the history of baseball. Now, I did a previous video where I did an outlook on their season. And I don't remember, um, I think that uh, the preseason prognostications said that they would win something like 68 games, something like that. I want to say it was 68 or 69. And I thought that was a little optimistic. Now I really think that that's optimistic. So, um, yeah, are we going to be worse than the 62 Mets? I think it's quite possible, because if you look at the lineup, there's nobody good. Now, we're going to be bringing up, uh, I mean, we, we recently signed Robbie Grossman, and, you know, he can get on base. He's not a great hitter, but he can get on base at least. And we also signed Tommy Pham to a minor league contract, and he should be on the major league club pretty soon. He had a good year last year with the Diamondbacks, and he had a really great playoffs with the Diamondbacks. So... That'll be probably a step in the right direction, so we'll see. We'll see if they can avoid being the 62 Mets. They're not going to make the playoffs, though. They're not going to win half their games. They're not going to be 81 and 81. They're not going to win 70 games. I don't think they're going to win 70. So, um, But the 62 Mets we know were like 40 and... 41 21 and 1 or something like that or 41 20 and 1 something like that. I don't know if we'll be that bad. We might be able to escape that if Fam gets up, you know on the club soon, but who knows? Because I mean you look, you look down that lineup, and there's just nothing there. I mean, you know, you, you got Robert, but he's injured. You have Eloy Jimenez, and, but, and he has been injured. He came back recently, but, uh, you know, he's made of glass. He'll be gone soon. So I think it's quite possible we could challenge the 1962 Mets for the worst record ever in the history of baseball. And not, not the Spiders. I mean, we're not going to, I'm not going back that far, and there's no way we're going to be as bad as the Spiders. But. I think the 62 Mets, yeah, that's that's within their sights. So uh, what do you guys think? Uh, leave a comment below. Let me put my finger in the right place here. Yeah, leave a comment below. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, give me a uh, give me a thumbs up. Uh, leave a message, you know, leave, leave some sort of comment because it, that helps. If you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe. That helps me out too. But... For right now, that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I'm signing off.